sometimes I'll, I'll have the, early on, the spacer, and my purse is open, and somebody will look at, what's that? I, oh, this, and then we go into the, the, the didactic, the teaching of what it is and why. How I feel about telling people I have COPD is very embarrassing. Um, when it's somebody I don't know, um, at times, depending on the situation and the environment, I will tell them first that I have COPD. If I have a coughing spell, I'm fine. I was very active as a support group leader. I was very uh, active in, in communicating what I could about this disease, but um, I was pretty private about it in my personal life. Initially, I was uh, reluctant to tell people that I had uh, a lung disease uh, classified as COPD. Um, today, I am uh, much more open about it. I say uh, I have COPD. I had uh, uh, trouble uh, after I stopped smoking. I have chronic bronchitis in uh, difficulty breathing. As far as telling people about having COPD, I don't hesitate a bit. I mean, if I were in a room with somebody that was going to smoke, I'd tell them, I don't want to be around you when you're smoking. And, and I think it's fair. You know, it's only fair to give people the opportunity to, to learn that you do have this disability, you do have um, these compromises in your health. and. Um, uh, then they can, you know, uh, respond to you accordingly. I don't think having COPD has caused any stigma as far as I'm concerned. When you get to be my age, somebody's, everybody has something. And, you know, you don't, uh, you don't go around advertising it, but if something someone is doing aggravates the condition, then you tell them. Yes, my employment has been affected by my diagnosis. Um, there's certain jobs I cannot do. I can't do a lot of lifting. For some reason, lifting, I cough, so I can't do any lifting. Um, even if I'm on the phone, um, I get coughing spells at times. So it's been hard to find what kind of job to look for. I don't think my employment was affected by having COPD, uh, other than the fact that if I had a cold or something like that, it made the problem worse and maybe took a little longer to get back to work. I, I, don't, I don't think the, the condition affected my employment in any way other than an incredibly new awareness of the risks. I continued work for, you know, additional eight years and uh, COPD didn't have a, a negative impact. Uh, my managers knew about it, so it, um, you know they they knew there were certain limitations, but um, uh, it really did not have a, a negative effect on my my performance or or my uh, employment rating. Uh,